Hello, Mount Moriah Church. Kerry Wood here, and as pastor of this wonderful mission station known as Mount Moriah Church, I'm bringing you a message of grace and hope in the middle of unprecedented attention to the disease known as COVID-19. There's a lot of information floating around, some of it alarmist and hysterical. Buried in the midst of the hoopla, however, is real information and valid best practices for how we should respond to this new coronavirus. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has issued orders closing all K-12 public and private schools. They'll be on an extended spring break through April the 3rd. He also declared gatherings of a hundred or more people to be prohibited for the next several weeks. The governor has been advised by the best available medical experts that these steps will slow down the spread of the virus and allow our medical system to provide the best care possible to all who do get infected. Churches are exempted from the order by virtue of the First Amendment, but as I've prayed over the situation, I've come to the conclusion that we should voluntarily comply with the governor's edict. Doing so is in no way giving in to a sense of fear or hysteria regarding COVID-19. Rather, we are choosing to be other-oriented by protecting our most vulnerable portions of the population from unnecessary risk. Therefore, we are canceling all services and Sunday school classes for March 15th and March 22nd at Mount Moriah Church. Small groups that meet during the week are up to the discretion of their group leaders on whether to continue or not. The Ark of Learning will remain open during this time. Some families may choose to keep their children at home, but others may need the Ark to care for their kids because they cannot work from home and their children need a safe place during those hours. To keep our ARC kids as safe as possible, we are closing the building to outside community groups for the next two weeks. The only exceptions to this are the AA and NA groups on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The reason for this exception is that these meetings are vital lifelines of support for their attendees, and we do not want to do anything that might cause a loss of support for those who most need it. The church office will also remain open. I will be available to discuss situation and pray with anyone who requests it. I will refrain from hospital visits unless it is a critical situation. This is indeed an unprecedented time. I never thought that I would shut down gathering for public worship for anything other than extreme weather-related situations. However, I see this situation as an opportunity. We've known that an area of engagement that Mount Moriah needs to pay attention to is providing virtual worship experiences. Many churches stream their services live on the internet, and while so far we've only posted messages on YouTube days after their delivery on a Sunday. So, I'm going to use these next two Sundays as an experiment with live streaming a worship experience, and I invite you all to join me online. At 11 a.m. on both March 15th and 22nd, Doug Heflin and I will bring a worship experience to you. We'll create access links from the church's homepage, as well as from Facebook and YouTube. Now, the technology may be rather crude, and the initial production value might be less than what you will get from an NCAA March Madness broadcast. But since there aren't going to be any March Madness games, you should definitely tune in to us. I also urge you to pray. Pray for all our first responders, the hospital staffs that will be at the front lines of care. And for those who will contract this virus, they will require extended care and treatment. Pray for our communities, that people will focus more on helping one another than on hoarding and ignoring the needs of the most vulnerable in our population. Make use of the technologies that can keep us connected to one another even when physically separated.
Phone calls, emails, and video chats, these can be just as important as washing our hands regularly and disinfecting our homes. If you've been listening to or following the scripture reading schedule for our Lenten study, Listen to Him, you may be like me. I have been amazed at how this week's readings have been so appropriate and timely in the light of the coronavirus. Wednesday's reminder was to be possessed by abundance rather than scarcity. The kingdom of God is based on abundance, while the culture of our world is based on scarcity. Hence, the total run on toilet paper. J.D. Walt wrote, Wherever in life you feel as though you may not have enough, give more of that away. On Thursday, listening to Jesus was about learning to receive. Receive the abundant grace of God and don't fret about anything else. J.D. wrote, To the extent that we can receive from God, our lives will be a gift to others. And today's message was headlined, Don't Be Afraid, Be Prepared. Jesus wants us to be ready. J.D. wrote, one of two things can happen at this point. We can grow in our focus or we can get lost in the middle. The middle is like a minefield laden with a thousand tripwires in the form of distractions. It's time to up our attention game. Friends, let's not let fears and overreactions distract us from God's good work that is still going on in the midst of a global pandemic. Join me online in worship this Sunday at 11. Links are posted in the notes that accompany this video, and share this with everyone that you know. Philippians 4, 6 says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Let us do this during the midst of of the season of coronavirus. And God is our refuge and strength. Amen.